Matthew chapter 14, 22 through 34. Then without delay, he compelled the disciples to board the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he sent the crowds away. Eventually, having sent the crowds away, he went into the mountains by himself to pray. Though it became late, he was there alone. But in the fourth watch period of the night, he came to them walking over the sea. When they caught sight of him walking on the sea, the disciples were troubled, saying, Do you see that? It's a ghost. It's walking on water. And they cried out in their fear. Ah, Lord, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, Lord? Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I doing? We're going to die. Oh, Lord, what are we going to do? <laughs> We're going to die. But at once, Jesus spoke to them with the words, Take care. It is I. Have no fear. <sighs> Lord, if it is truly you, command me to come to you over the water. Jesus said to him, Come on, Peter. Don't be scared. Oh, oh, you want me to come to you for real? For real, for real? Lord would ask me to do something like that. Okay. Peter got out of the boat and walked over towards Jesus. But looking at the windstorm, he got afraid and started to sink. He cried out. I don't know. Ah! Oh, help me, help Immediately me. stretching out his hand, Jesus caught hold of him and said to him, You with little faith, why did you give way to doubt? And after they got into the boat, the windstorm stopped. Then those in the boat did obeisance to him, saying, Jesus, it really is you. You are the Son of God. Oh, boy. <laughs> now he gets it. And they got across the sea and came to the land of Genesaret. The moral of the story is to always have faith in God. Even the faith the size of a mustard seed can calm the sea. Fear will do you no good and God will always be there for you. Until next time, we'll see you soon.